Hey YouTube, it's Walt. Back with a, another pickup video of a few different orders that I've had. Um, here a little while ago, Mr. Vegeta put out, and a few others, put out uh, codes for Modern Coin Mart and GovMint. So a couple of these are pickups from that, and one is not. So from GovMint, I picked up a dozen uh, Silver Eagles 2017s. It ended up being $16 and something, so I thought I can always use more of these for you know the foundation stack. So picked up some of those. I've got some still at home that I picked up earlier in the year. I'm not sure if I have enough for a tube, but next time I go to an LCS, I'm going to pick up a tube and see what I can do. And if I don't, by the end of the year, I want to fill up that tube and have a, a tube for a year. I don't have that from of any single year from American Silver Eagles. And then from Modern Coin Mart, I picked up some Spider-Man coins. It just so happened that day they sent out like a, a a sale email to me. So these were on sale. And then with the coupon code, it made them about 20 bucks a piece. So for basically what I pay for a generic round here at my LCS, I got these pretty cool little Spider-Man rounds, or coins, I guess they are, from Tuvalu. These are done by the Perth Mint, four nines. The mask is polished, so it kind of looks black. And the, the Spider-Man logo is kind of the same way. The rest is all a matte finish. Uh, I like Spider-Man. I had a college roommate that was a huge Spider-Man fan. He had tons of toys, so I know it's probably not going to be you know, a winner for gaining, but I figured for about 20 bucks I'd pick some up just because I enjoy it. And then they come with these cool little felt bags. Quick story. I was going to do a, an outdoor video with these. There was a yellow garden spider that had made a web next to the barn and it was about as big as this coin it was huge so i thought it'd be fun to kind of you know bring some wildlife into it some big creepy spider um if you don't know what a yellow garden spider is i'll try to put a picture in here up for it i found another one get some stuff out of the way maybe not knocking him off. There he is. Not quite as yellow. He's got more black in him. But if you look at uh, him next to it, he's big. I think he's eating a bee right now. Because he is set up in this here flowering weed and apparently a bee got caught in his web. It's a it's a harmless spider. Uh, it just eats a bunch of bugs. Makes kind of a, a Z pattern in its web. It's pretty cool. Uh, another pickup. Once I saw these sold out from the mint with the other ones, how they went up so much, I went ahead and picked one up. It's the new Ellis Island. And unlike Silver Slackers from today, this one actually looks pretty good. I was pretty happy with this one. Uh, that is on the no plastic. I forget where I got this one from, but it didn't even come in the capsule, so I'll have to pick me up a capsule for this one. I've got a few others at home that don't have capsules. But this one looks pretty good for what a lot of people are getting. And then one last thing. I picked this little treasure chest thing up at a garage sale for a dollar. Kind of ugly looking here uh, on the corner it's like it's gotten wet or something but it's pretty cool. It's not real heavy duty. It's a, a thin plywood. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do to it. Uh, clean it up and make it look cool. So 
Does anybody have any ideas? I think the hardware I can get off of it okay. The sides are held on by little nails, but I think I can probably get those out as well. Uh, the rest are all held on by screws. So let me know what you think. If you have any uh, ideas on what I could do for cleaning it up and making it look pretty cool. I know I can't put a whole lot in it, but put a little bit in it. It's big enough to put, you know, some of the display boxes where you get something that's in a box. I think I can put some of those in it, maybe. So let me know what you think. Till next time. See you, YouTube.